Abraham said, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering for my son. What is this statement? Is this just a positive thinking? Si Lord ang magpo-provide. Is this, is this a lie? Is that faith? Is faith just, you know, declaring the impossible? Is faith just reversing it? Or is faith a statement and embracing a promise that was given to you and now it's not making sense? Better you will still hold on to this. Good everyone. Palapakan naman natin si Lord this morning. This uh, awesome God. We are in this fourth week. We have two more coming and we're uh, talking about the names of God. And a name, as like I said in the very first um, part, is uh, speaks of his character. So who he is. Hindi na enjoy yung series na to? And probably it's the first time that you have found out na we meron pa lang mga pangalan si God. I just call him God and Lord. And yet there's so many names which speaks or an attribute his character. Okay, but before that, meron muna akong uh, uh, a uh, very important announcement and also some a prayer concern, a prayer item. And I I hope that we can pray for that. And uh, nasa season po kami of planning and getting ready for 2021. So one of the things that is exciting is going to have, alam niyo po, pandemic. Uh, sabi po nila, the church will uh, struggle. And I think in a, in, in a bit, yes. No, but you know, we cannot stop the kingdom of God. It will continue to grow. It will continue to spread. The gospel will continue to spread. That's why on September... Uh, 2021, we are launching not just one church, but two churches in uh, Victory Bulacan. We are launching Victory San Rafael and Victory Balagtas. Grabe, no? And we're excited about this. Nag, nag-start na po yan yung mga Victory Groups last year pa, even if may pandemic. And right now, it's it's I know it's ready. It's like uh, it's like the 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 woman will give birth na again to two churches. So that will make us how many na in Bulacan? Nine, tama ba? Nine churches. So we're one thirds because we, ang 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 pinabigay po sa atin ni Lord ay to plant in every city municipality in Bulacan. So, 9, 18, 27. So, almost more than one-third. Okay, nine churches na tayo. Again, please pray for that. Victory Balagtas and Victory San Rafael will be both launched September 2021. Inaayos na po namin lahat kung saan, uh, kung, kung papaano, the place, the equipment, we're all... Um, and you're part of this. Okay, you're part of that through your tithes and offerings, your prayers... So, kung meron po kayong mga kaibigan um, sa Balagta, San Rafael area, i-ready nyo na sila. Lahat po ito ay pinagpipray uh, because we will continue to honor God and make disciples. Okay, I've read this blog about a, a psychologist. She's a doctor. And looking at her life, parang wala naman na siyang kailangan. I mean, he, she's at the pinnacle of her career. And parang wala naman siya kailangan. Parang okay naman na siya. In fact, many many people wants to be something like her. Right? Na magkaroon ka ng uh, prefix yung pangalan mo. Doctor, ganyan. So, so, but I was surprised when she wrote in her blog, she shared her fears. Sinabi niya yung mga insecurities niya. At yung mga bagay na kinakatakot niya. And here are some of of what I found in her blog. Sabi niya, I thought I could not have a successful career. So she's afraid that she's not gonna have a career that is successful. Sabi pa niya, 
I often fear that I would never have enough money. May katabi ba kayong ganyan? Yung parang laging maubusan ng pera. Or parang lagi na lang kulang. Diba? Parang you're, you're praying na pagka ganito na yung sweldo ko, feeling ko okay na ako. And yet, you come to that point and it's still not enough. Still not enough. Sabi niya, I was afraid there weren't enough good men out there. So she's single. She's praying for uh, a man. And if I did marry, I would have to sacrifice much of what was important to me. So takot siya na yung karir niya hindi mag-succeed. Takot siya na maubusan ng pera. Takot din siya na walang mapangasawa, walang relationship, walang family. Overall, sabi niya, I started to doubt the life I desired was available. And it was this fear of lack that held me back for so long. Fear of lack. If we're gonna be honest to ourselves, with ourselves, in maybe all of us has this. Meron tayo nito. Um, including me. Right? That, like for example, I'm thinking, and medyo mahala tayo na, na nag-need life crisis kaya ito si pastor. And parang, if I retire, na, dati hindi ko iniisip yung retirement eh. Parang bata mo pa and vibrant tayo pang gagawin sa ni Lord. Ngayon, naisip ko, Sino mag-aalaga sa akin kung hindi, kung hindi kami prepared ni Carmen? Uh, our, our job is great. God, thank for a job. But we're not sure if it can give us a retirement package just like companies. Uh, anong kakainin namin ni Carmen? If meron ng family, si Boas, si Olivia, si Uwell, tsaka yung baby number four, five, six, and seven. Nagot ako kay Carmen naman, ha, pitong anak. So, so iniisip ko yon Iniisip ko na uh, ngayon pa lang, mahal man lang na college, paano ako mapapag-college si Uwell? Ten, uh, ten years from now, he's gonna go to college. What if he says, Dad, I want to study in um, Harvard. Dad, I want to study in the States. Ha- how can I do that? Paano ko gagawin yun? Paano ko siya paprovidean? Paano pag kami gusto siya, gusto niyang magnegosyo? And maybe you're in the same boat with me, just like the doctor. You're in the same boat that parang, paano kaya, paano kaya, sino kaya yung magpaprovide sa atin? And maybe you've heard the experts that said that 2021 is just the repeat of 2020. You're looking at 2021 with, with like a brighter future, and yet, what if that did not happen? What if God will not provide? Jesus knows that. That's why he said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 31, sabi niya, do not be anxious. Do not think about what you will eat, what you will drink, what you will wear. For the Gentiles seek after all these things. Wag mo isipin yung mga yan. Anxious, we can, another word for that is stress. Alam niyo yung anxiety, and stress, dinisign ni Lord yun tayo um, kasi whenever we're anxious, we're in, uh, we have stress, nagpuproduce to yung katawan natin ng adrenaline and cortisol. Mga naalala, walang stock knowledge lang to mga naalala ko lang ng grade 3, okay, ng teacher namin. And, and the, God designed our body so that it can respond to danger, the flight or flight, flight or fight. Na kapag may sunog, masistress ka, yung adrenaline mo yung cortisol, biglang mabubuhat mo yung ref. Tsaka yung buong bahay nyo. Ha? Nagkakasunog. Pag may, may mga barel, bigla kang tumulin tumakbo, bigla kang nag-matrix, diba? bigla kang nagkaganon. Kasi, kasi cortis- ang problema, if your body never leaves that state, and I tell you, there are people who are in constant anxiety. That means yung body nila ay nagpo-produce ng unhealthy amounts of cortisol and adrenaline. I can only illustrate it, yung parang lagi na lang yung sa movie, di ba, pagka may thri- thriller, yung yung buhay mo constant, ganon, kasi 
Hindi mo alam, no, paano kaya, paano kaya pag graduate, paano kaya kung malugi negosyo, paano kaya kung magsarado, paano kaya kung tumanda ako, paano kaya, it's a constant that, and, and that will kill you. In fact, I believe, tingnan nyo ah, bakit mas maraming nam, namatay before sa COVID kesa ngayon? Obviously, gumaling tayong magpagaling, pero in, I believe, it's because na at peace din tayo. Dati, pag nagka-COVID, na ako, mamatay na ako, mamatay na ako. And yung emotional, mental torture, the, again, the cortisol, the adrenaline, keeps on pumping, and it burned them up. Ngayon, pag nagka-COVID ka, may COVID ako, pray for me. Parang gano'n na lang siya, ka-chill. Yung story po natin ngayon is a constant jing, 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 sa buhay ni Abraham at ni Isaac. This is like some sort of continuation of last week, although malaki yung talon, so basahin nyo na lang, malaki yung talon. But if you remember, yung bata na, na issue, the son of promise, the son of Abraham, remember last week, go ahead, go on YouTube, watch it, kung na-miss na- nyo sa, nagkagulo-gulo yung buhay ni Hagar, ni Sarah, ni Abraham, because they're waiting for this guy. Si Isaac. And now, 13 years after that, eto na. Eto na si Isaac. Kaso naman, meron tayong flipping of the script. Something that we don't expect because the, the Isaac that Abraham was waiting for, suddenly, God said, I want you to sacrifice him in the mountain. It's gonna be murder. So imagine, naisip ko si Yuwel, ano, we always play together, uh, we spend time together, tuturang ko siyang magbike. And Isaac is probably 15 years old at that time. And then, bigla kang tinatali nung daddy mo, pinangakuan ka ng daddy mo, anak, ang sabi ng Diyos, sa'yo manggagaling ang lahat ng descendants natin. Pero ngayon, biglang tinatali ka ng daddy mo, hinihiga ka sa wood, and then your daddy's ready to strike that knife. So you see that knife, if you're Isaac, you see that knife gleaming in the sun, and any moment na will strike your heart. Kung di mo pa narinig yung story na to, you're probably asking, what the heck is happening? Ano nangyayari? Why is God... What's God? What's God allowing this? Why is God? Why is Isaac doing this? Why is Abraham doing it? So, ito yung movie na simula tayo sa dulo. Alright? Kung gusto nyong malaman yung mangyayari sa story, you have to attend next week. Okay? Let's change the topic for now. Hindi, ito yung story natin today. Okay? When they came to the place on which God had told him, Abraham built the altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him Uh, on the altar. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to slaughter. Look at that word that uh, the writer chose. To slaughter. It means it's gonna be violent. It's gonna be bloody. It's gonna be morbid. It's something that we don't want to see. And yet, it's here. So, rewind muna tayo. Bakit tayo nakarating dito. So, three phases of the story. There's a preparation, there is submission, and there's anticipation. Preparation, submission, anticipation. Number one, preparation. Preparation for what? San ba tayo prepare ni Lord? For a test. For a test. Sabi doon, after all these things, in another translation, After a period of time, Abraham is probably 120 years old at this time. So, malami na pong nangyari. Simula nung first time na tinawag ni Abraham, ni God, si Abraham. Abraham pa siya nun. 50 years of walking with God already. And then, this happened. Abraham, after God, uh, this thing, God tested Abraham. God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, here I am. Alam nyo, mo, most of the time that this story is being preached 
or maybe tayo rin, kunuwento natin sa mga anak natin, ganito yung, ano, ganito yung style, ganito yung reason, the philosophy. Uh, ganito, kasi gusto malaman ng ni God kung mahal, kung mahal ni Abraham siya at siya lang yung mahalaga kay Abraham, kaya sinubukan niya si Abraham. So nung bata ako, oh, tama. Pero ngayon, it doesn't make sense to me anymore. You know Why? Because I believe that God is omniscient. Omniscient means all-knowing. He knows everything. So, bakit mo susubukan yung isang, hindi siya parang tao? Pwede kong subukan si Jell of how, how, how our relationship is. Because I don't know, I cannot read minds, I cannot read hearts. But God can. So God knows the heart of Abraham. God knows what will happen in the future. God knows the whole story even if before it began. God even knows your heart right now. Alam niya yung puso niya mo kung ba't ka nandito. Yung iba dito, nandito ka lang dahil nandito yung crush mo. O evangeligaw po yung tawag dyan. O kaya uh, tawag namin dati yan, disciple chicks. O kaya i-invite mo sa Bible study. Alam ni Lord John, alam ni Lord John na tinatamad ka kanina, alam ni Lord John na napilitan ka lang. So alam ni Lord yung puso natin. So hindi niya tinetest si Abraham para malaman niya yung puso ni Abraham. Hindi rin siya tinetest ni Lord para mag-produce ng faith. Na kapag uh, nagawa niya to, ah, sige, magkaka-faith ka. No, no, no. It's not a test to produce faith or prove faith. Again, Abraham doesn't have to prove it to God because God knows. But this is a test to uh, this is a test to reveal faith. Preparation. Whenever God tests us with something, He prepares us first. that your shoulders can carry the load. Anong sabi ng verse? That God will not give you anything that you cannot handle. Paraphrased. So, kapatid, pag meron kang test, wag mong sabihin, hindi ko kaya tong pagsubok na to, mabigat to para sa akin. Hindi, pre, sakto sa'yo yan. Just as this story, alam ni Lord na 50 years na silang magkasama ni Lord, 50 years na nagtitiwala sa akin si Abraham and the test that I will give him is exactly just enough for him and he can handle this. So yung mga pagsubok na bibigay ni Lord sa'yo, sakto sa'yo yan. At hindi rin yan random. Okay, hindi yan, hmm, sino kaya ang matest ko ngayon? Eh kung test, pagpalitin ko kaya, no, it's tailor fit for you. It's tailor fit for you. He said, take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. Nandun si Moriah Carey. Sa land na yun, nagkakantahan ng, um, ng, ano nga yung Christmas song niya? Uh, All I want for Christmas. Puro ganyan tugtog sa mountain na yan. And offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains on which I shall tell you. Ito pa yung nakakatawa. ba? Diba? Actually, ano to eh, clue. Kumbaga parang, kung nanonood ka, parang, eto yung mga uh, pag nanonood kami ng series makukuha mo yon parang easter egg yung tawag doon tingnan mo yung tingnan mo yung construction ng uh, command ni Lord take your son holy son go to this land leave something in which I will tell you hindi ba ganyan din yung unang una di ba ganyan ganyan yun go to this place leave something nung una leave that place and in a place that I will tell you. Lagi na lang na hindi sinasabi ni Lord kung saan ako pupunta. Laging ganon. And that's actually a clue. It should be a clue for Abraham na, hmm, parang parehas to. Actually, kung nakatch na yon, medyo hindi na siya kakabahan. Kasi parang repeat lang to nung una. Eh, nung una, nag, 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 nagtiwala ako sa kanya, and, and nakapasa ako, ganon din to. Okay? Again, what is the, the, the test? Sabi doon, The test is, take your son, parang, parang dinidiin pa ni Lord, take your son, your only son, whom you love, sacrifice it, offer him as a burnt offering. 
This is the very first, uh, sa Bible po, may tinatawag tayong the first mention principle. Now, if you really want to know the, the meaning of the word in its purest form, you go and look for the, when it was first mentioned. And this is the very first mention of love. So it tells us that true love is not romantic love. Kasi ni-romanticize natin masyado yung love. But the first mention of love is in the context of a father to a son, a parent to a child, which I believe, parents, sinong parents dito? Taas kamay. Which I believe is the purest, strongest love of all. And also, the greatest love of all. Bakit? Eh, wala kang napapala sa anak mo eh. Hindi ka tulad yung asawa mo. Somehow, meron kayong mutual give it. Pero sa totoo lang, lalo ngayon si Boaz, wala naman kami, yeah, 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 yeah. Lahat ng gusto niya, bibigay namin. Yeah, yeah. So the purest form is, is, is a form of uh, the, the love of a father to a son, uh, to his children. Parang tayo, yung pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin. So, again, ha, parang, parang masakit na yung, alam mo yung masakit na tinutuhog-tuhog pa yung puso mo. Yung anak mo, yung naiisa mong anak na mahal na mahal mo, patayin mo. Offer mo sa akin. Offer mo sa akin. God is preparing you today for the trial that you will face tomorrow. And all of lahat ng mga napakinggan mong verse, nabasa mong Bible verse, napakinggan mong worship song, um, experience nyo kay God, just like this, Abraham, 50 years of walking with God, ang dami niyang baon for a test for a trial. So, may preparation stage, pre. Ang problema, kung wala kang alam na verse, anong uhugutin mo, pre? Wala kang alam na worship song. Diba? In, uh, uh, I remember when Bo was is, um, being born, kasi pustahan yun, hindi mo naman alam kung ano mangyayari. I was worshiping in the in the in the room by myself. And God just led me to a song, The Strength of My Life. You are the strength of my life, Lord. I was singing that over and over and over. And later ko lang na-realize, ba't kaya yun yung binigay niya sa aking song? Kasi nga pala, ibig sabihin ng Boaz, I strength. So, wow! And that ministered to me. That prepared me for the trial. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Ang problema, kung wala kang alam na worship song, di ba pag nagpe-pray ka, para param pam pa para param pam basa pakiram hindi ka mami mister alon pre di ba nakakainis yun di ba param pam pam wala ka alam na verse so God is making sure na matibay ang mga balikat mo bago pa niya bigay sa yung test kaya pag nandyan yung test bro pre kaya ang kaya mo yan hindi ko sinasayang madali pero kaya ang kaya mo yan Again, God will not give you a test that you cannot handle. Sakto yan para sa'yo, sa season mo. Okay, kung ikaw ay year one Christian, hindi kanya pang bibigyan ng pang year 100 na Christian. Alam niyang kaya mo yan. Okay, preparation. Number two, submission. Submission. So Abraham rose early in the morning. Kitang-kita mo naman, maaga pa gumising. Ewan ko, ewan ko siya, no? kung ako to, papatayin ko na lang yung anak ko, magpapalit na ako. Pero ito, rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac. And he cut the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place on which God had told him. On the third day, ibig sabihin tatlong araw po silang nag-travel. Okay. Uh, kwento ko muna, then mamaya, breakdown natin. Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place from afar. Tingnan niyo yung story. Bakit, ikaw, bakit siya mismo yung nagkakat ng wood? Eh, pwede naman nang iutos. Ayun, no, meron siyang dalawang alalay, young men. Tsaka patriarch yan, dami-dami niyang alipores. Okay, I believe the out of nervous, nervousness, ako na lang gumawa niyan. And maybe while he's cutting the wood, he's... Thinking. Ano ba ito? 
Ano naman ba itong nangyayari? Parang mabira naman. Tanda-tanda ako. Nakala ko graduate na ako sa mga ganito. Tapos meron na naman. Tapos bakit si Isaac? Parang bakit, bakit hindi si Sarah? By the way, kung uuwi kayo mamaya, ano and say, sabihin mo sa asawa mo, sabi ni Lord, i-sacrifice kita. Okay, sabi mo sa biyanan mo, di ba sabi, ma, sorry, sacrifice daw. Malamang hindi si Lord John, okay? Please, balikan niyo muna kami, okay? Baka yun yung application niyo dito. So, 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 battling. And I believe that three days, isa pa ano, three days, Ano ka ba naman, Lord? Kung may papagawa ka sa akin mahirap, anong gusto nyo? Kung may mahirap kang gagawin, anong gusto nyo? Yung mabilis o yung matagal? Di ba yung mabilis? Eh, pwede namang sacrifice Isaac there at the backyard. Eh, tapos na. Eh, pambihira, three days of travel. <laughs> Kada step, one step is like an agony. One step is like a stab on your heart na parang, what are we doing? And anytime they can go back, pwede silang bumalik kasi malayo eh. Anytime they can make an excuse to not obey. Three days of struggling, wrestling with God. Then Abraham said to his young man, stay here with the donkey. I and the boy will go over there and worship. Sabi niyo nga, worship. And come again to you. This story is a story of obedience. But at the same time, I think ultimately it's a story of worship. What's worship? Worship, another synonym of it. Uh, by the way, this is the first mention also of worship. So kung gusto mong malaman, ano ba ibig sabihin ng worship? Hindi pala to yung worship service lang. Na 12 to 1.30. Hindi naman po 1.30, Pastor. 1.45. Sorry na, sorry. Minsan lang naman. Okay, so uh, hindi lang sa worship service na 12 to 1.30, hindi lang din yung kumakanta tayo. So gusto mong malaman, ano ba yung sabihin ng worship? Tingnan mo yung context na to. Because here, God is asking so much for Abraham that it takes complete surrender and submission. Hence, point number two. Submission. Uh, bakit complete surrender? Bakit complete submission? Kasi Exodus chapter 20 verse 2, the first commandment, and again, it's very important, the first commandment is the first commandment because it's the first commandment. You shall have no other gods besides me or before me. That means, if you break the second commandment to the tenth commandment, Ang una mo talaga na break ay yung first commandment. Halimbawa, bakit ka ba nang sisinungaling? Eh kasi, mas mahalaga sa yung pride mo, tsaka yung mapahiya ka. Di ba sabi mo, tropic eh. Pero totoo lang, late ka gumising. So, mas naging Diyos mo yung pride mo kesa sa siga. That's why you lied. Di ba? Bakit ka nagkakovet? Ang ganda naman ng bahay niya. Bakit ako walang ganun? Eh, grabe, ganda naman ng sapatos niya. Ang ganda ng pusa niya. Diba, ang ganda ng asawa niya. Yung asawa ko hindi. Ba't ka nagkokovet? Kasi may fear ka na hindi ka magpo-provide ni Lord. Therefore, that became your God rather than just trusting God. So, tama that you will you break the first commandment in when you break all the other commandments. It's an issue of who are you really worshiping. Isaac is a gift to Abraham and Sarah, but it became that the gift is much more important than the giver. And let's be careful. Kasi maganda naman tong mga bigay sa atin ni Lord lahat. Pero if that will pull you away from God, then we have a problem of worship. And we got, we're gonna have a test na totoo bang mahal mo ko? Eh kung tanggalin ko yan sa'yo, can you still really say 
Ibang sarap kantahin nung Take my life, Lord, it is yours. Totoo ba? Eh masakit lang yung ulo mo, galit ka na kay God. Kala ko ba, take my life? Eh ngayon, masakit lang ulo mo. Iba pag dinededigate natin yung anak natin? <laughs> this is so funny. And when I, pag lumaki sa Leuel, I think we will experience this full blast. Diba pag dinedigate natin, anong sinasabi natin? Lord, kayo na pong bahala sa anak ko. Gamitin niyo po siya kung ano man po. Tapos ngayon, 15 years later, your son wants to do something and you say, No, anak, hindi yan ang pangarap ko para sa'yo. Ha? Eh, akala ka ba nandung dinedigate mo? Lord, bahala na po kayo dito. Sa mga wedding, ganun din. Uh, yung mga single dyan, uh, nabibingi. Pagka nag... For richer or for poorer, in sickness or in health, for stronger and for weaker. Alam, alam nyo, nag-resonate lang, richer, stronger, better. Pero pag nandun na sa poorer, weaker, bakit ganito yung binigay mong buhay? Bakit? Oh, akala ko ba for better or for worse? We don't understand what we're saying, guys. So unless God takes away these things, Doon pa lang natin malalaman. The test is not really for God. I told you. God knows your heart, but the test is for you. So that you will know where you stand with God. Nung nagkasakit ka, nawala ka na ng pera, hindi ka na umatend, alam mo na. Ah, okay. Ganun lang pala. Agad dito lang pala ako. So God is asking Isaac as a uh, Worship. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac his son. And he took in his hand the fire and the knife. So they went both of them together. And Isaac said to his father Abraham, My father, behold, the fire and the wood is here, but where is the lamp? Nung nandun na po sila sa tuktok ng bundok, medyo nakaalata na si Koya. Parang, ah, Dad, Tay, Pops, uh, wala pa rin po yung lamb. Medyo kinakabahan na siya. Malamang ako yung lamb. Nandito po yung apoy. Nandito po yung fire. Ah, yung, yung wood. Pero bakit walang lamb? Siguro ready na siyang kumaripas tumakbo. But what did Abraham said? Abraham said, God will provide for himself, the lamb, for a burnt offering, my son. Let me ask you this question. What is this statement? Is this just a positive thinking? Nagpa-positive thinking lang ba siya? Ano lang, good vibes na. May mga ganyan ngayon sa internet, eh, kapikon eh. Pa good vibes lang po, positive. De, well, si Lord ang magpo-provide. Is this, is this a lie? Para hindi ko maripas ng takbo yung anak niya. Anak, 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 si Lord. Pero alam mo namang hindi. Alam naman niyang hindi. Uh, para lang hindi siya tumakas. Is this a positive thinking? Is that faith? Is faith just, you know, declaring the impossible? Is faith just reversing it? Or is faith a statement and embracing a promise that was given to you and now it's not making sense? Pero you will still hold on to this. Remember, I promise, Genesis 21, Isaac is, malinaw, Isaac is the son through whom your descendants will be counted. Hindi sinabi ni God, one of your sons. Nagkamali na nga siya last week. Ginawa niya ng paraan. Nag-repent siya, nag-resort siya ni Lord, binigay pa rin si Isaac. Now, nila na si Isaac, malinaw, si Isaac manggagaling yung descendants mo. So, I believe in one of those nights, three nights yan, di nakatulog. Kung ikaw man yun, ikaw man yung tatay, sacrifice mo anak mo, makakatulog ka ba? Pero in those three nights, I believe on the third night, something clicked on him. Kada lang po yun. No? Think, think kayo sa akin. 
i-analyze natin yung situation ni Abraham. Dalawa lang naman to eh. Dalawang route. Okay? Sabi ni Lord, si Isaac ang magiging, um, sa kanya manggagaling lahat. Pero ngayon, kabaliktaran yung sinasabi ni Lord. Patain ko raw si Isaac. So, either sinungaling ang Diyos at hindi ako mahal ng Diyos at pinagtitripan ako ng Diyos or tapat ang Diyos, faithful ang Diyos at hindi ko naiintindihan to pero may gagawin siya na hindi ko naiintindihan therefore yakapin ko na lang. Ulit. Ulit. Kundi siya nag-sing in. May sinabi sa iyo si Lord. Sure ka. Promise sa iyo ni Lord. I don't know what that is. Tapos ngayon, hindi nangyayari. Hindi nangyayari. In fact, kabaliktaran yung nangyayari. So, mamili ka. Mamili ka kung anong gusto mong rap. Just like Abraham. Sinungaling ang Diyos At hindi ako mahal ng Diyos at pinagtitripan ako ng Diyos at gusto niya lang ako saktan at di niya ako mahal. Therefore, kalokohan tong victory, kalokohan tong 12 p.m. service, kalokohan yung pag-born again, kalokohan yung pagtatites, kalokohan yung pag intay kalokohan yung pag preach ng gospel dahil sinungaling yung Diyos or I have proven just like what Eric was saying, I, I have tasted And I saw that God is good in my life and this doesn't make sense. Why is He asking me to kill the son that is supposed to be the promise? It doesn't make sense. Pero sa pagkakakilala ko sa Diyos, 50 years na akong nagta-travel, nagwa-walk with God, sa pagkakilala ko sa Kanya, lahat ng pinagawa niya sa akin, the impossible things, hindi niya ako minsan nilaglag. He never left me. He never forsook me. Maybe I should trust Him again. So, tanong, balik ko yung tanong sa inyo. Ilaglag ka na ba ni God? Sa lahat ng sinabi niyang mangyayari sa iyo, maybe hindi mo timing, maybe hindi nagsukat yung timing mo at time frame niya, pero kung nangyari pa rin, tanong ko nga sa iyo, kung hindi ka pa nilaglag ni God, He then stay. And trust the word. Doesn't make sense to Abraham. It's not part of their Jewish and religious culture to sacrifice a person. It was the pagans to sacrifice it to, to Baal and all that. But not this God. Mamili ka. Sinungaling? Unfaithful? Ang Diyos? Or hindi ko lang naiintindihan yung pinapagawa niya? In fact, we know it because in the, the writer of Hebrews said it. What's going on in the mind of Abraham? Sabi doon, by faith, Abraham, when God tested him, offered Isaac as a sacrifice. He who had embraced the promises was about to sacrifice his one and only son. Even though God has said to him, it is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. Thank you, writer of Hebrews. We have the same thought pattern. So Abraham reasoned. Tingnan nyo, ito yung what's going on in Abraham's mind. Bakit siya nagkaroon ng resolve? Bakit siya nag-decide finally that I'm gonna obey God? Abraham reasoned that God could even raise the dead. And so in a matter of speaking, he did receive Isaac back from the dead. Guys, Hindi nga nagme-make sense eh. Pero sure siya doon sa pangako ni Lord na kay galing kay Isaac. So in his mind, kahit ituloy ko to at saksaking ko si Isaac, pwede naman yung buhay yun eh. In a time where that never happened, there's no history yet of a revitalization or a resurrection. Wala pang Lazarus, wala pang Jairus' daughter, wala pang Jesus na nakita nila. So walang, 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 walang proof that this can, this can happen. And yet, he trusted God that it's going to happen. 
So Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to slaughter his son. Ito na. Okay, the knife is up there in the air, gleaming in the sun. Isaac medyo nasisilaw pa with the sun. Also ready to receive that strike. And then, just in time, angel of the Lord, which is a Christophany. I told you about this. Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here I am. Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I have known that you fear God, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. I believe na hindi nagpapapampam si Abraham. Yung parang, eto na, tatakbaking, uy, God, ipigilan mo ko, uy. Pag binasa mo yung scripture, mayroong sense of urgency yung then the angel of the Lord. Kasi nga, tututuhanin talaga ni Abraham. Eh. Tututuhanin niya. Ganun siya ka resolve that he will uh, do what God calls him to do. There's a plant, a sprout. And he was beside a very big oak tree. The oak tree shields him from rain, from sun, from strong winds. So he loves this oak tree so much. Buti na lang may oak tree. Hindi ko nararamdaman masyado yung sun, pag malakas yung tupig, pag malakas yung hangin. Pero one day, there's a wood man. What do you call the man that cuts the wood? The axe person. Uh, the huntsman. Uh, cuts the oak tree. So, so kinat niya. Nagpanik yung sprout. Sabi niya, oh no! Oh no! Don't do that! If you do that, I, I'm gonna lose my source of protection, my security, the one that provides comfort, shelter. Now I will receive the sun, I will be heard, the rain, the, the, the huntsman, the woodman said, no, it's not that. In fact, pag nawala tong oak tree, the sun will go to you more. You will receive the nutrients, the energy of the sun. The rain will get to you. And now, wala ka nang kahati sa nutrients sa ground. You will receive the full nutrients to ground. And because of that, my little friend, you will not become a sprout anymore. You will grow. In so many, may, in so many ways, we are like that sprout. We're afraid na mawala yung trabaho mo. That's your oak tree. Mawala yung business mo, that's your oak tree. Mawala yung family mo, that's your oak tree. Kaya you're holding on for dear life. Pero when God tests you and you submit, the, the, the exam that meant to hurt you will make you grow. Yung may katabi mo, may tumutubo ng konting root dyan sa ulo. We will never know that Jesus is all we need until we figure out or experience that Jesus is all we have. Until God takes away all of these things. Security, our job, our, 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 our um, investments, our, um, our, our youth, our strength. Number three, anticipation. Whenever there's a exam, anticipate because there's something coming. Now, whenever, again, this preaching is preached, this sermon is preached, the highlight is the obedience of Abraham. Faith ni Abraham. And I have to give him credit. True enough. Oh, okay naman yun. The problem with that is pag yun yung highlight, tas nag-uwian tayo, pag may trial ka na, ganito yung eksura natin. Hindi ko naman kasi kaya yung ginawa ni Abraham. Si Abraham lang malakas. So, papakanta ka na ulit. Wala, hindi, madaling sumuko. ba diba? parang, eh, hindi. Si Abraham, ano ba naman ako? Ruwi lang naman ako. Si Abraham, kaya niya. Yun ako, hindi. Yun ang problema, pag ang highlight, yung obedience niya. And again, I'm not, I'm not taking the credit. 
But who gave him that faith to begin with? So, kaysa mag-anticipate tayo sa obedience ng tao, mag-anticipate tayo sa provision that comes from God. Because the test really doesn't reveal your heart. It reveals God's character, His grace, and His love for us. So, tuwing may pagsubok, anticipate mo na that God will be there to save you and provide for you. Sabi doon, And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him was a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. Anong sabi ni Abraham kanina? God will provide. Baka na-miss nyo rin, sabi niya doon sa alalay niya, you stay here, we will worship, and then we, plural, will go back to you. Hindi niya I will go back. Alam niya na magpo-provide si Lord. The ram was there. This is, I, I provide a visual illustration. I ask you well to help me draw this one. Yeah, actually, ako rin ang drawing nito eh. Tingnan niyo ano, while Abraham and Isaac was going up three days on the left side of the mountain, the ram, inutusan ni God yung ram na, huy, pupunta ka doon kasi ikaw yung provision ko. Kaya pa, cute eh. So while Abraham and Isaac were, were, were going up the mountain, probably doubting, probably uh, nagtitinikling bo, uh, back and forth, back, ano ba, gagawin ba natin ito? Gagawin ba natin ito? Kailangan sa tuktok. The God already t- told the ram, ikaw rin mag three days journey ka kasi ikaw yung, ikaw yung provision ko. And then, then they met on top. Isipin nyo, kung umigil silang maglakad dito sa gitna, They chickened out. Again, two options. They chose the first one. No? Kalokohan naman tong born again na to. Christianity, kalokohan to. Tigilan na natin to. Eh, sinong makakakuha ng ram sa taas? Pagdating doon yung ram, walang purpose. Eh, ano nang gagawin ko dito? Guys, look up here. We all are praying for something. I know that. Maybe it's a breakthrough finances. Maybe it's a partner. Just like the doctor, a, a lifetime partner. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's a baby. We have friends. Na 10 years na silang kasal, they don't have a baby. Yet. Maybe it's a car, maybe it's a house, maybe it's... It, but most of us, we stop. Sa gitna ng mountain na pinapaklaim sa atin ni Lord. Not realizing that the blessing, the provision is already on the way. And you can only f- experience it. You can only see it if you finish the journey. Yung mga ram nyo, mga kapatid, it's already on its way. It's already on its way, whatever that is. We just have to continue trusting God step by step, step by step until we finally see it. Hindi mo naman pwedeng tawagan yung ram eh. Ram, maka- dadating ka ba talaga? Kung dadating ka, tutuloy ko to. Hindi mo alam. Hindi makakasagot yun. And isa pa, hindi yun. Faith, pag alam mong meron. Ang problema, mahilig tayo yung surebol. Ano, i-invest ako dyan, pero surebol ba yan? How will you know that you will walk on water? You just have to jump. Paano mo malalaman kung, kung makakatalot, kung makakatalot uh, ka sa tubig, tumalon ka. Ngayon, kung lumubog ka man, ito naman si Jesus eh. <laughs> Ano naman si Jesus kung, kung mali yung dinig mo, sasagaping ka nun. Hindi ka nga yan malunod. Kaya talon lang ng talon. Sabi mo sa kapatid, kapatid mo, talon lang po ng talon. So the ram was there. The ram became a sacrifice. So Abraham, I'm landing this in a little bit. Abraham called the name of the place Jehovah 
Jaira. Or Jaire. Yehovah, Jaire. Or Jehovah, Jaira. Which means the Lord will provide. Tingnan nyo, no? What's the, what's the proof that even Abraham doesn't want the credit? Kasi, he could have called the mountain Mount Victory, where I was victorious. Pwede ganun, di ba? Mount Obedience, where I was obedient. Mount Faithful. Pwede ganun, no? Or Mount Abraham lang ang malakas. Wala. It's Mount Provision. He knows it's not about his obedience. It's not about his faith. It's not about your faith, kapati. It's not about your obedience. It's not about, it's about God's character, his love, his grace, that he will never ever want to hurt us and whatever he says, it will happen. No matter how bleak it looks like and we don't see it, On this day, as he said to this day, on the mount of the Lord, it shall be provided. You have to, this is exciting, guys, because you, you have to make pansen of everything. Uh, bakit future tense? Because pwede namang mount of, kasi tapos na eh. Dapat, on the mount of the Lord, he provided. Past tense. Tanong niya si Sir Jello. Dapat ganon. Pero hindi, tingnan nyo, future tense. On the mountain of the Lord, it shall be provided. It means two things for me. Number one, figuratively, it means mount provision. Na nandun si Jehovah Jaira ay nasa mga bahay ninyo. At nasa mga bahay ko. At kung anuman ang kailangan mo, it shall be provided. That the provision is not just for Abraham, it's also for you. Philippians 4.19 says, And this same God who takes care of me will supply all your needs from His glorious riches which have been given to us in Christ Jesus. All your needs. He did not say some. It did not say if you work hard for it, you'll get it. The Jehovah Jireh ang mag-provide. It shall be provided for you. So, I don't know what that, what, what that is you're praying for. I don't have to ask you to raise your hand. Sino dito may need? Every one of us. Maybe it's protection. Maybe it's um, healing. Maybe it's, it's financial breakthrough. Continue climbing that mountain that God wants you to climb. Because at the end, the ram is there. It shall be provided. Also, this means literal. Figuratively, meron tayong Mount Moriah Mount Provision. Literally, kasi sabi dito, on this mountain, it shall provide it, which is a foreshadowing on what it is to come. Because in that same mountain, merong ulit isa sacrifice na anak na hindi natuloy kay Isaac, pero this time, matutuloy na. And this lamb, will be the ultimate provision for us, which is the ultimate thing that we need, and that is freedom from our sins. Because Mount Moriah is the same mountain, same hills, where Jesus Christ was crucified, and that's Golgotha. Pag makita niyo yung parallelism and uh, the foreshadowing, tingnan niyo, Both were loved by their father, Jesus and Isaac. Both were the only begotten son. Kung nakita nyo yung language na ginamit kanina, di ba? Take your son, your only son, whom you love. It sounds like John 3.16. For God so loved the world, He gave His only son. 
His only begotten Son. It sounds the same. Both offered themselves willingly. Alam nyo, 15 years old po si... 15 to 20 years old si Isaac. Kayang-kaya niyang gulpin yung tatay niya. Mukha mo tayo, utot mo. But while he was being tied up, Abraham trusted God, but Isaac trusted Abraham. Hindi niya maintindihan, probably umiyak siya, pero sabi niya, may reason yung tatay ko, kung ba't niya ito ginagawa? May reason niya. So, pagtitiwalaan ko siya, hindi ko naiintindihan, pero pagtitiwalaan ko siya. And if indeed I will be the sacrifice, then let it be. Just like Jesus. Lord, if if pwede lang, take this cup away from me, but if not, not my will, but your speed up. Both carried wood up the hill of their sacrifice. Isaac was carrying the wood. Jesus was carrying the cross. In that same hill, both were sacrificed. In, in, in Moriah, which is where the temple is right now, and which where Golgotha is right now. And most importantly, both were delivered from death on the third day. Galing, no? Three days, Jesus came back to life. Three days, Isaac, dapat patay na. And now, because God saved him, he returned back from the dead. As um, Hebrews is saying, on the mountain of the Lord, it shall be provided. Again, this story is, thank God, Thank God for Abraham's obedience and his faith. But the highlight, the focus of the story, let's shift our focus to Jehovah Jireh, the provider. Na kung ano man yung pinagpipray natin, ano man yung hinihiling natin, sabi doon, God will supply all our needs according to His riches and glory. Can you close your eyes? No one looking around. I will not ask you to raise your hands kung sino may need. Because lahat tayo may need. What I want to pr- pray for is the faith to climb that mountain. Sometimes God gives the blessing right away Walang trouble. But sometimes, there's a lot of challenges. There's probably a, uh, uh, an examination that's probably testing you. Again, not for you, not for him, but for you. And I want us to anticipate that blessing. at the end of this climb it's gonna be hard it's gonna be doubts and fears but as we climb and as we finish on the mountain of the Lord it shall be provided so if you're here you say I, 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 I need faith to believe once more raise your hands I pray, I, I pray for those people who are raising their hands. Fill them with faith. What gave Abraham resolve? What gave Abraham the courage, the boldness, audacity to complete the mission is that malino sa kanya, it is through Isaac. So I pray that, that our faith will be hinged not on someone other's faith. but it will be hinged, it will be anchored on your word. Ano ba yung word mo sa amin? Any iba dito, maybe walang word. I pray, I, I pray you just make it clear to them. What is it you want them to do? 
What is it that you're asking them to, to finish, to accomplish, God? Lord, I pray, Lord, samahan mo kami as we travel, as we climb our mountains. I pray, Lord, that we will not stop. Yes, we will be discouraged, but we will just uh, go up again, walk up again. Thank you, Lord, that the ultimate provision is already given to us. And all others are just bonuses. Yung pinaka-importante provision is, is forgiveness of our sins. And on that mountain, it was provided. When Jesus Christ died for us. Maraming salamat, Lord, for that. We worship you. We thank you. We honor you, God. You indeed are awesome. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. See you next week. We have two more weeks to go, and I hope you will not miss it. Uh, See you next Sunday.